All right, so this is activity 33, uh, or sorry, 3.3. Can't read my own writing. 3.3 from page 130. 3.3. So here we have a complex object made up of half a sphere, a cylinder, and a cone. So the half a sphere is right here. The cone, or sorry, the cylinder is a full cylinder. And then the cone is also a full cone. So there's three different objects that we have to find the surface area for. So for the first one, let's look at the half sphere. So the surface area for a sphere is equal to pi times the diameter squared. In this case, it gives us 9, which is the radius. So that means that the diameter is actually equal to 18. Diameter is equal to twice the radius. And we need the diameter squared. So 18 squared is equal to 324. So the surface area is equal to pi times 324. When I work that out, I get 1017.87. And because I'm only dealing with half a, half a sphere, I have to divide that one by 2. I divide it by 2, and I get that my surface area is equal to 500 and 8.9 and the units are meters squared meters squared so that's the half sphere the second one we're dealing with is the cylinder Oops. the cylinder for surface area is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Again, we've also already seen that the radius is the same as the sphere, which is the same as the cone. The radius is equal to 9. So that means that the radius squared is going to be equal to 81. So the surface area is equal to 2 times pi times 81 plus 2 times pi times the radius, which is 9 times the height of my cylinder is actually 20. So I multiply this out, I get 508.9, that's a coincidence, plus 1130.97. I add those both together and I get a surface area of 1,639.9, and again, meters squared. So the last one to do is the cone. And the cone surface area is pi r squared plus pi r s, and s stands for slant, which is equal to 15. Okay, pi r squared, is 254.5, I could go through all the math again, but I'm sure you understand, plus pi r s, so I multiply all those together, and I get 424.1, I add them together, I get a surface area of 678.6 .6 meters squared, and the surface area of the entire object is all these things added together. So I have to add each one together. I add them together, and I get a total surface area of 2,827.4 meters squared. And the activity 3.3 states that this is a balloon, so that is a huge balloon.